Hello and welcome to section 7, Building a Penetration Testing Tool. We're going to look at a few things in this section. First, we're going to talk about the Metasploit framework. And this is relevant because we're also going to write a version of Metasploit framework in Python. So let's get started. So in this first video, we're going to just talk about the Metasploit framework as a whole. So as a whole, it's a framework that is meant to make it easier for security researchers to design exploit code to exploit vulnerabilities that are found on hosts. So it's very popular for use in penetration testing. It's incredibly versatile and powerful, even if you don't write your own exploits, but it's especially useful if you do. To give you an illustration of how it works, I've already spun up my Metasploitable VM, and if you'll recall, we use that in section one to rewrite an exploit for it that was previously written for Metasploit. So now we're going to actually show you how you would launch that original exploit via Metasploit. So I'm logged into my Kali Linux box here. So let's open up a terminal. Metasploit uses PostgreSQL in the background to store results and such. Okay, so you see an error up there. It, it, I haven't initialized this, so it's going to show that error for now. But anyway, it should have what we need in here to exploit the VSFTPD 2.3.4 exploit. So there's a lot of different commands built into this, but some of the simpler ones are simply just there's scanners, there's exploit modules, there's different payloads that you can use to actually insert a payload when you successfully exploit a vulnerability, things like that. So let's just go through the flow of how I would use this. You can also use Nmap inside of the tool, which is great. So let's just do a quick Nmap scan so that we can determine whether or not VSFTPD is running on our host, on Metasploitable. Okay, and right there we see VSFTPD 2.3.4. Like I said, the database is not connected, so that command isn't going to work, but most commands still will. So we know that version of VSFTPD is running, so let's find the exploit for it. And it's right there for us. So now we just have to load that up. As you can see, there's only a couple of options that we have to set. The default for remote port is 21 because it's an FTP server. And we just have to set the host, so let's do that. And you can see it's set now. Some exploit modules have a check command where they can basically attempt to see if the exploit will succeed if run. So let's see if this has that. So as you can see, it doesn't support check, but if it did, it would run some sort of check to see if this would succeed if run. So now let's actually perform the exploit. And there we go. So we now have a command shell, and similar to what we did in section one of this course, except we didn't have to develop any code for it. So now I should be able to navigate around at will. So that's the idea. So there's a number of different types of modules in here. I would definitely recommend exploring it if you haven't before, especially if you're interested in security. It's a really great tool for a lot of different things, but especially, with, like I said, when it comes to penetration testing. So definitely you should check it out. Also, it's good to know because we're going to write our own version of it. To that point, the reason that it's going to be useful for us to write our own version of it is there's two reasons. One, it's a great academic exercise, which is similar to a lot of the other programs we've written in this course so far. 
But secondly, the one drawback to Metasploit is if you want to develop your own exploit for use in Metasploit, you have to write it in Ruby. Now, I personally like Ruby. I like Ruby a lot, actually. A lot of people don't, but there is something to be said for, you know, regardless of what language it is, there's something to be said for not having to learn another language just to write an exploit. You already know Python, so let's make it easier for you to write your own exploits in Python that you can then import into your own framework, your own version of Metasploit. So that is it for this video.